Hello family, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your March 2022 tarot reads. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. How you been? What's up? What's new? What's popping? What is going on, guys? I hope you're doing super, super fantabulous. With that being said, um, I would like to take a moment and um, extend my prayers and my heart to everyone who is going through a really rough time right now. Um, we're going to put a little timeline cleanse for us. We've got some Palo Santo. We're going to send positive energies out and pray to our creator that all is well. All right. With that being said, the way that these readings are going to go, we are going to talk a little bit in general. Then we break it down into the elements. Air earth, fire, water, and then we break it down into the signs. So when you get to your video, what you're going to get is this little intro. Then you're going to get another intro with a generalized read for the element, and then we're jumping into your sign. But don't worry, it'll all be timestamped because I know some of y'all got short attention spans. I'm one of those people too. Now, let's talk about what's going on on the second new moon in Pisces. Hey, hi Pisces. How you guys doing? Happy birthday. I hope you're doing super, super well. Now, this new moon in Pisces, I think it's really going to help us get into meditation and prayer and reconnection with our creator and our source energy. On the 6th, Mars is entering into Aquarius. Now, with this energy moving into Aquarius, think about Mars, this planet of action, energy, getting things done, very emperor-like, in the sign of the collective. So we are going to have be banding together. There's going to be a lot of love and a lot of like uniting, okay? Now, in last month's video, I was thinking it was February, what day did I say? 14th, when um, we had Palace of Athena, Athena entering into Aries, and I said there could be a possibility of a war breaking out. So pay attention astrologically what's going on, and also remember we, do have, we did have our Pluto return on the 22nd, um, for the United States, okay? So lots of energies at play. Just keep your eyes on the sky. Now, on the 6th, we also have Venus entering into Aquarius. We have Mars and Venus in the same sign of the collective having a conversation. It might get a little steamy, okay? Now, on the 9th, Mercury entering into Pisces. Mercury feels a little bit debilitated in a water sign. So be aware that the way you communicate or the way you say things, when your emotions, those things may not come out as clear as you would desire them to. Now, on the 18th, we have the full moon in Virgo at 27 degrees. What is so important about the energy of 27? It's a very beautiful number. This is partnerships, relationships, blessed by the divine. 27 comes to a nine. There are things coming to an ending, a cycle coming to an end. Also, think about what Virgo represents. This is the sixth health energy. What's going on in your health? What's going on in your day-to-day day, day -day activities at work, your pets? Um, get organized. Get clear. Get cleansed. Okay, on the 20th, happy birthday, Aries, and shout out to my very, very special Aries friend, my pops. I love you, Dad. Now, with this, this is the first day of spring. This is a great day to just like push in, bring good energy in, get what's old out of the way, and let's move forward. Some consider this the beginning of the year. Now, on the 27th, Mercury. Okay, enters into Aries. I'm going to tell you, communication is going to be a little aggressive. People are going to really want to get their opinions out there, really get their things said, and move forward. So, those are some things to be on the lookout this month. Now, I want to make two shout outs, two quick announcements. Um, okay, three. If you want to book a reading with me, just click on my link tree, hook up with me, follow me on Instagram. Let's have fun. I do readings on there with my friend Typical Witch like at least once a week. week okay, it's super, super great readings. Go check us out. Now, shout out because we're talking about spring cleaning and getting things new and fresh. If you have not purchased my friend's book, High Vibe Home by Kirsten Durga, Yaduga, sorry, this is a wonderful, wonderful way to increase energy, prosperity, just getting the place right, your place, your office, your front door, your kids' room, all of it, all in this beautiful book. Wonderful pictures. I want to see if I can find one with very beautiful, very aesthetically pleasing. Now, also, in the comments, if you're not following www.ritualine, you need to go on over there and go get all your rituals, all this kind of information from astrologers, feng shui, from me and tarot, all kinds of wonderful things going on over there. So go check us out over there. Now, 
I went to a psychic fair in San Antonio, Texas last um, month with my friend um, TT. Hi, hi TT, one of my favorite Aquarians. And um, I wanted to tell you about this product. I am not a doctor, okay? First of all, this is my honest opinion. I have been taking Sekhmet CMOS for about a month now. And all I can say is, wow, my energy levels have increased in all areas. And I feel great. So I'm going to put her information there at the bottom. And I'm going to tell you, this stuff tastes amazing like I have to tell myself you can only have one to two spoons girl like I'll be trying to eat it all the time because <laughs> it's so good so I'm gonna put that information in there and remember the only way to book a reading with me is through my link tree all right I will not DM you I will not say dear blessed one no that's first of all I don't even talk like that so y'all know it's not me I ain't gonna be calling you blessed beloved nah we don't even talk about that over here so don't get fooled okay with that are y'all ready for these reads because I am hello fire signs Aries and Leo hey Leo hey Leo and of course one of my favorites Sagittarius how are those thighs thick thighs save lives and we need you okay we need you here Sag we always do anyways let's jump into our read so immediately when I was looking at your cards I mean immediately all I'm gonna say is shamani 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 okay it's coming your way um and you're going to say, how did you get that? Well, because I have two 17s and a 26. That's eight, eight, eight. Don't you feel great? Okay, eight, eight, eight. It's about prosperity, travel, communication, and moving forward. So let's start off with the planet that's trying to bless you, a Jupiter, okay? If you want to work with the energy of Jupiter, you would be doing that on a Thursday, all right, with some green candles, maybe some pyrite, and making everything go great. Now, this is about learning or teaching and being positive about your growth and expansion. It's also the granting of our wishes and blessings, good fortune, good things coming to our forefront. Now, the animal energy that's coming in for you is that of the platypus. And, and I, I find this animal very interesting, like super interesting, because the platypus is this energy um, of differences, right? Like nothing seems to match on the platypus, but yet it lives a very happy life. And so the key is to stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings. And so a lot of times what happens is like, you know, like let's say your work life is great, everything's great, but maybe you don't have love life, right? So then everything is like, well, because your love life isn't going right. Then you also have like people who have like, their love life is great, but their finances aren't, you know? And so then we tend to focus on the things that aren't working and that's how we block our blessings. So the platypus's lesson is like, look, everything may not match, everything may not look great, but baby, you got it going on, all right, fire sign? You got it. Now, this is something very interesting though, because the fates card is about a situation that's faded, okay? It's just something wasn't meant to work, it might have ended, but it's a blessing in disguise, okay? And I think that's why the platypus energy is coming in and telling you to pay attention to that. It's also telling you to pay attention to the alignment of the astrology that's going on to help guide you and lead you through certain situations. But be on the lookout, again, the number 17. Be on the lookout for things that are getting in the way. And one of the things that's getting in your way is the focus on the negative, focusing on the things that aren't working all the time, as opposed to being solution focused and um, solution driven, grateful, blessed, you know, and I'm not the kind of person that, oh, we're going to be happy when everything's falling apart. No, you can say this effing sucks. Nothing is working right now. <sighs> Deep breath. Moving on right? It's okay to be upset. It's okay to not like the way something's happening. We are not going to pretend, and I am not one of those people who are like absolutely positively happy all the time. No, I have my ups and downs too. But what I feel that this lesson is, is about, look, when you see the signs and when you see things aren't adding up, don't wait for the explosion, okay? Don't wait for the explosion. You got to wait for things to slowly happen. <laughs> that card makes me laugh because one time I was doing a reading for, for a client and she wanted to travel to Hawaii, right? And it was right before COVID hit. And I was like, I don't think that's a good idea. Like, I don't think you should pay for that trip. She was like, well, how bad could it be? And I was like, showed her the card. And she was like, it can't be that bad. And like the week that she was flying out, guess what? COVID hit. Everything was ruined. So I'm not trying to say COVID's going to get you. I'm just saying, or... El Covivo, como my friend says, the Covivi. But there's a situation that is just meant to happen. And, and I feel like your guides are showing you things, like showing you little happenstances and signs and synchronicities so you don't make those mistakes. Now, 
from the Santa Muerte Oracle, you have the number 26. That's that third eight. Now, 1717 and the angel numbers means be ready for a new direction, independent working. Things are going to be moving on and your guides are on your side. Now, you see that? Teamwork makes the dream work, but you've got to build a foundation. And I feel like that's what the lookout is. Maybe you're trying to move faster than what you should. Maybe you're trying to make things happen that shouldn't be happening right now because you need to build a foundation. And if you were just be a little patient with things, it'll all work out. Sometimes we work on our own time and spirit be taking a long time. I'm talking about be patient. And you're like, how patient do I need to be? Especially as a fire sign, right? So that energy is coming in. I also believe that you're going to have a lot of help to build your dreams or build the foundation so that you can move forward. Now from your ancestors, you got the medicine bag. Give me some fries with a shake, shake booty. If looks could kill, you would be an Uzi, you a shotgun. Bang! What's up with that thing? I just want to know. How does it hang? Anyways. Medicine bag coming through for you. This is good energy. This is high vibe. This is you gathering all of your tools to come together and get the answers that you need in order to move forward. There's a lot of orange and red energy. So I'm going to say your lower two chakras get very rooted and grounded and work with that sacral. Okay. Lots of fun coming through. Now, deep breath. Your crystal is a popolite. I love this crystal. I have a huge one right by my bed. This is one of the more uncommon crystals used in Reiki. So Reiki might be something that you're really working with. I know I did some Reiki for a fellow healer and I saw some amazing things that we were able to heal in her body and I explained to her what I saw. Wonderful thing. Get a Reiki session. Not for me. I'm not the best, but if you want one, Vanessa is really awesome. Now, it also helps you to um, get into the Macassic Records and a popolite is complex and confronting and promotes truth. And um, it helps get rid of those suppressed emotions. Um, it's great for facilitating states of deep relaxation. I have one right by my bed so that when I sleep, I can relax right by my amethyst and selenite. Now, it's great for deep relaxation, tranquility, asthma, allergies, and problems with the eyes. On a spiritual level, it says, time to let go of whatever's holding you back or down and consider your life carefully. What can you let go in order to move upwards and onwards and towards your potential? You are kind of getting in your own way right now, and so it's important for you to harness that energy, fire sign, and... Because we're springing into spring, we're going to go to the sacred sites. So we have this beautiful card of Machu Picchu. So this is the past, the present, and the potential. So this is about perspective in dealing with our fears, and it's located in Peru, okay? Cusco, region of Cusco, okay? Excuse me, every time I hear the word Cusco, you ever watch that movie, um, what is it, with the llama, when they turn him into the llama, and you're like, Cusco. I used to love that. It's a Disney movie. Anyways, The Emperor's New Groove. I love that movie. It's hilarious. Anyways, so this is the sun god Inti. It's the power symbol of the stone, the sun emblem, because we fucking have. We fire signs, okay? Now, this is about transformation, the medicine of transformation, connecting to your primal energy. Um, this is also about visualization and drawing in your power and like really focusing on what it is that you truly desire. That's why we're not going to be focused on the negatives. We're going to focus on what we want and move forward. Now, in the present, it talks about how resilient are you? I mean, we fire slides. We just burn stuff up, right? So can you stick to what's right even when it's hard, okay? Politics, education, religious beliefs. Do you stick to your beliefs? Do you stick to what's right, okay? Now, it's important to listen to others. It's important to be open. But standing up for yourself is very important, having your voice. Now, do you believe in the divine plan? Because at the top of this card, this is Viracocha, the sun god, okay? And the sun god is the creator of all things. And do you believe in divine plan? Are you guided by a set of values, acknowledging that life has a higher meaning and can help you through the dark times? The sun is symbolic, okay? And it's telling you, you are more than your sun sign. So what does that actually mean? Well, the sun sign is just your astrological sign, right? But you have the whole world in your, the whole astrological heavens in your chart. For instance, I am, my moon is in Sag. I am. So yeah, I got some thighs, y'all. I got some thick thighs too. Um, my rising is Gemini and my sun is in Leo. My Venus is in Cancer. My Mars is in Libra. So I have all of these elements that are coming together that have transits and aspects that move you along to help you make decisions. And that's what it's telling you. Don't live in fear. Don't be afraid. Move forward, but be on the lookout and be aware of what's going on. All right.
so let's see what kind of energies we got going on for you fire signs this is a long intro i'm just talking a lot I'm gonna lay these cards out we're using some wonderful cards from my friend steph hey lady how you doing baby she will be going live with me soon so if you don't follow me on instagram where the hell have you been Ooh, let's see here what do we got going on so are you ready if you pick, think of a question. And there's a yes or no. Let's look at what's on the bottom of the deck. What's on the bottom of the deck? It'll give me highlights of what we need to know about. A new beginning financially or a new beginning that's coming, a beginning that's taken a long time for you. And if you pick card number one, it's a yes. Finish your work. Do what you got to do. Move forward. It's el mundo. You got the whole world in your hands, boo. You got it. You got it going on, fire sign. If you pick card number two, I have don't stop. Get it. Get it. Get on your horse, boo, and go ride through. It's taking you a long time, but yes. That coin is for you, all right? So with that being said, let's get into shuffling right now. If I can find the deck. Oh, here it is. We're using the Babylonian Tarot, okay? Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Cisneros. And I'm going to cut this deck real quick. And we have here the Three of Cups reversed with the lovers. I do believe there's too many people involved in a decision that you need to make. Do not overindulge in anything so that you can move forward. Because seeing the lovers, it makes me feel like there's a major decision that's coming to the forefront. And you're going to make the right decision. But it's almost like you need a lot of clarity. And that's why the sun keeps coming out in Machu Picchu. Okay? That's why they're saying get the pictures together. Get the read receipts. Read everything. Look at everything. Make sure everything is going well so that you can move forward okay so let's see what's going on here we have Aries Leo Sag ow I love it I love it I love it I love it yeah all right overall energy eight of cups What's going on? What are we refusing to see? What are we neglecting? So in this card of the Eight of Cups, this is where Gilgamesh, he's like, eh, I'm going to go get the plant of life. It's where it'll be vibra, vibra de la mar, de la mar, por aquí puedes pasar. Okay, I remember that. Okay, anyways, he was not paying attention, okay? And because he wasn't paying attention, he missed out on what he wanted. Do not neglect your emotions. Do not neglect all your hard work, fire sign. You're doing a great job. Bitch, you're doing a good job, okay? You're doing a good job. But you can't be neglecting things, baby. Okay, so these are the things you don't see coming. Things on the back burner, things that haven't happened, things you're avoiding, not paying attention to. We got the devil, okay? Bad habits. Mm, things get in the way. High Priestess is saying clarity is needed to proceed. That's your new beginning. High Priestess, trust your intuition. We got to talk about it. We got to be about it. We got to talk. Okay, we got to trust our guides. We're not listening. Do not allow others to influence you because you do need to make some changes. What? You're not perfect, fire sign. You're not perfect. Shocking. All right. With that being said, we're going to bump into Aries, Leo, and Sag. And remember, these are timestamps. So if I talk too much, I am so, so sorry. You know I love you. All right. Be right back. Hello, my lovely Leos. The sun is shining. You look amazing. You look great. You look super sexy. You have a beautiful heart. And I absolutely adore you. Because I'm a Leo, too. Ah. So if you don't like Leos, this is not the place to be. Because we're not going to bash each other, okay? I don't like to bash anyone, actually. Mm, it's not fun. Anyways, let's see what we got going on over here. Some beautiful, beautiful energies. So, remember, we are at the Eight of Cups. We're neglecting our emotions and our feelings as we're moving forward. Or we feel like someone's neglecting us. How dare they not give us a spotlight? I mean, have you seen all of this magic? Okay. However... Here we go. Jump into this read. Seven of Wands. We are facing our shadow, facing something that scares us a little bit. So Arishka Gal is said to be the other half of Inanna or Ishtar. In some stories, she's the older sister. Some stories, she's the twin. What it is is facing that shadow and that aspect of yourself because she's going down into the hell, like going into hell or into the lower world. And she has to have courage to face this part. And so I feel like you have to have courage in what you're doing because there is a damn dirty victory. And I see you coming through. Hey, hey, hey. So there's the chariot. There's movement. There's victory. There's something great. But in order to have that victory, Leo, 
You got to face those dark parts of you. And I love that she's naked as she's walking down because that's your vulnerability. That's your soft side. That's you having to face something that's so difficult for you. And then here he is, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or this is your energy speaking your truth and standing up for yourself as the Knight of Swords. So let's jump into this, Leo. Let's look at the Seven of Wands. Let's see what's going on here. Um, remember the 17th and the 8th are going to be very important for you. Possibly the 7th. Oh, I said it. This, this is, oh, Chicago. Okay. Pick your energy, one or two. Why do we need courage in a situation? I do believe that on the 17th, I just said this to Aries, you're going to see the signs of something. And on the 18th, on that full moon, you might be in high anxiety over it. Um, again, the color's red, getting very grounded and rooted in who you are. That 18 is coming in very, very strong. There's so much anxiety, so much stress. But the way to transform, the alchemic process of that is to acknowledge that you have anxiety and change it to excitement. Change it in your mind. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm eager to see how it plays out. I'm open to new possibilities, okay? And then we have the magician in the mirror over here. So the number 53, which comes on to what? Another damn dirty eight. So I'm telling you, them eights are after you, Leo. So the magician in the mirror. This situation is like you really having to see things for what they are so that you can move forward and get what it is that you truly want and desire, especially like with that reflective energy. I do feel like you're in a situation with a friend, a family member or whatever, where you're like mirroring each other and things are being shown and revealed to you. So if you picked anxiety, what is your message? Do what you love. So in those moments that the anxiety is really high, go for a walk, go run, call a friend, put some music on, dance. And if you pick card number two, you take a step back. Take a step back and look at things from a different perspective because it's going to be important for you to have the courage to face those fears if you want this victory. Look, Queen of Pentacles with the tower. What's going on? We know that we are we are offering so much. We have so much to give, but that tower moment is coming in. That's what the lookout is. That tower moment that wants to come in and say, look, everything's about to fall apart. Like, what are you going to do? How are we going to handle this? You're very fertile. Your thoughts are creating things. So be aware that you are being high vibe as much as you can, okay? As much as you can. What does the tower have for us? The 10 of wands, we're tired. We've made it to the end of the road. We're tired. Some of us need to make better financial decisions. We're working really hard to get through this. Queen of Pentacles, what do we need to know? What do Leos need to know? Look, the sickle, the house, and the cross, which is a burden. We are getting down to the foundation of things. And we need to find out why the tower is happening. Why is this a necessary energy to occur? Because there's something that's a big burden to us. Some of us are going to have a sudden move or a sudden offer to move. And it's coming in very, very fast. Two to three months at the most. You might even find out something on the 17th that blows your mind and you got to go. Like you just got to leave the situation. That tower moment is freaking huge. I kind of want to pull on the tower moment. Let's see what the tower is about. Look, I'm telling you, watch your finances, okay? There, there's happiness, even though there's a block financially. Like, I feel like you, you're... <sighs> you're kind of stressed out, but the money's going to come. You just got to keep pushing. You got to face the problem. Do your taxes. That's a message for me. Do your taxes, Ari. Right. Do your taxes, girl. But I feel like this energy is telling you, like, you got to work through this. You're almost there. Like, you're almost there to that victory that you long and that you desire for. Okay? What is the chariot about? Judgment. A huge decision is coming through. But you're slow about it with the Page of Pentacles. Start small. You have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. But it's a victory. It is a victory for you. It's huge. There's something beautiful on the horizon coming in for you. Just have to be willing to face the fact. And you know what? The snake was looking at me. That there is so much envy around you right now. And the number 20 is popping out. Um, so pay attention to the 20th. Uh, there's a decision after the full moon that you're going to make that 
there's someone very envious around you, okay? You're going to know about it by the 7th because that 7 is matching it. Their birthday could even be 720 or something like that. Um, there's something there with that. There's a lot of jealousy coming in. It's, it's, it's just not, it's not nice. You know, like that's one of those people always make fun of me because I'm always like, that's not nice. Like, don't do that. Like, and that's, yeah, that's really how I say things. So you have to find a safe space. That's going to be important to find a safe space. Um, and I do feel like the person who is going to help you, um, there's something about their hair. Maybe they have very different kind of hair. Um, but they're your safe space. And again, you got 20, 20, 20. Okay, hindsight is 2020. Pay attention to things, okay? Because there's some heartbreak. It's like you're trying to protect yourself from some heartbreak, you know? But there's victory. And I do think that this person has, like, okay, it's the queen of spades energy. So I do feel like this person is very sneaky. Like, they're very, very sneaky. <sighs> Let's get guidance. How are we going to work through this envious situation? I mean, you have the victory. Choose your path and don't look back. There's another two. And then the fucking chariot again. Dude, I cannot make this up. One bit. Cannot make it up. And here you are like, bitches come and go. <laughs> we got this. Leo said, I ain't worried. I ain't stressed. I am blessed. And I got this. I ain't got nothing to worry about. However, you a little shaken. I ain't gonna lie. You a little shaken. Okay. But you're gonna be okay. So let's look and see what this Prince of Arrows has for you. Prince of Arrows, speak from your heart. Boy, you got a lot to say there. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Three of Pentacles. Work, 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 work. There is like, the song that comes to my head is Higher Love. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even know who sings it. But... Look, it's coming in hot on the 8th. I'm telling you, March, like, March is going to be fire for you around the 8th, the 20th. Okay? Be ready. There's a lot of things coming in. There's a little bit of a block financially, but the double chariot in your read, you're on freaking fire. Like, people can't even F with you. Like, they can't even. Like, they, they can try, okay? Try me. Try me, but you're going to get hurt, Okay? gonna get hurt what is the magic leo can focus on for anything this month the moons just everyday magic what is it your dreams pay attention to your dreams they're gonna be on freaking fire they're gonna give you clues and you're healing and i don't know if you think that you're healing yourself i think you're healing others too it's bringing happiness and usually when you're doing like a lot of good work for yourself and good work for others people become envious or they become jealous and that energy is just not healthy Let's get some clues on this Prince of Arrows with thick calves. You know, y'all, I love some legs. It's not my favorite. Don't ever skip leg day, guys. Don't ever, ever. Just be, look, they have tattoos. Ow, ow, hey, sexy, how you doing? They have a lot of walls, you know, they're like, kind of hard to talk to. Okay. And 44, 42, 45. So the bomber jacket, I kind of feel like they're very warm hearted. They're also very highly sexual with that Scorpio energy. And I feel like this individual, um, they work a lot. They have a business, the 10 of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. They believe in work, but they want something more. They want a higher love. They want that higher fit love. And so they're trying to figure out how are they going to come and tell you this? Now, this is also about working with someone in a very conventional way. You could be developing a partnership you're going to make a judgment and a choice because i have two tens so there's something about work coming in for you be very aware that you do have a lot of envy around you okay so make sure that you're doing your protection work your clearing work things of that nature because there is somebody who wants everything you have everything even down to your chones okay like 11 light keep your chocha tight step out boo okay i should put that on a shirt or something anyways anybody want to make merch for me let me know so I just kind of feel like, yeah, there's there's someone who's a little heartbroken, okay? And you're looking for your safe space. But this envy and this snake, okay? Like, this, I remember when Amina was little, she'd go, snake, a snake. Yeah. So um, snake in the grass, they can kiss our ass. We're going to win. We got this, Leo. You got this. The double chariot. Boo, you got this. Ain't nobody hold you down, okay? But don't be surprised because the tower's there. It's like what? I didn't see that coming. You know, yeah, you did. You saw it on the 17th and then it happened on the 18th, girl. Just sit down. The 8th, you got a little bit of a pre-warning, okay? 
28th of, of February, because I saw 228 also. You got a little warning of what's to come, all right? You saw it coming. So don't, don't let that anxiety get you. Do what you love. So a lot of times we'll ask people for their advice, and they're going to give us some advice that sounds like crapola. Don't take it. Don't drink from that soda, you know. Go make your own tea. Do what you got to do. So it's a very interesting energy coming through for you there. Let's look at your finances, Leo. I'm going to say save your money, okay, because that mountain with the fish, there is a block to your money going on. So I'm going to say work with Jupiter. That was the planet that's coming through for you every Thursday. Get you a green candle. Carve your name into it. Put your intentions into it after you've cleared it and cleansed it, okay? Then you're going to carve your name into it. You're going to put some coconut oil or some money oil. You're going to get some pumpkin pie spice because it makes everything nice and it has all the money herbs on there. You can write a wish on bay leaves. You can sprinkle that around, the little pumpkin pie spice. You know, bless your candle and bam, here we go. Okay, every Thursday, boil you some cinnamon, okay, in water. Walk through your house, bless your house. Let the cinnamon smell, bless you, and pour it at your front door, okay? Magic. The hangman, financially, okay? Two of swords. You got to cut some bad spending habits, boo, okay? Because you're going to start over, okay? You're going to have to start over. There's something new coming through. And the king of swords, which is the king of wands, is like, look, we got to cut some shit out. We got to stop spending frivolous money. We got to pull things together. We got to move, okay? I do think that there's a big, big move, okay? Look, and right behind him is the money. So there is something there that you're going to be getting a lot of finances. But I want to say, like, be aware in Pisces season. Do your taxes, okay? Okay, I'm saying that to myself too. And, and stop spending on stuff you don't need. Okay? Because it's going to move you to the next level. Fucking Leos love to spend money. Like y'all, some, some hot messes over there. I'm a Leo. <laughs> y'all hot mess. We're a hot mess. I'm like, ooh, it's on sale. We should buy it. Oh, that looks like a great deal. I don't even need it, but let's go for it, you know? Let's look at your love life. Let's see what we have here. Knight of Wands coming in hot. Higher fit again. Higher love. What's going on? And wait, I didn't shovel that right. Let's see. I was grabbing it and I'm like, what is that? Okay, but well now we have too many. Look at this. Too many. I'm going to keep them. Look, the Emperor, the Sun, and the Star. <sighs> All majors. Decisions. Clarity. Your dream, dreams and wishes. So if I'm looking at this, look, I'm looking at this, point from the bottom. Queen of Pentacles, the Gambu. Get on the grind, okay? Get on the grind, girl. Now, Knight of Wands, you're coming in hot. You're making sure things are good. The Hierophant's higher love. The Emperor's coming in. So you have this energy that's trying to match your Empress energy. You're like, look, my heart is open, boo. Let's do this because you are all I ever wished for. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with that star. And again, look at the number. 17. I ain't making this up, y'all. 17 is going to be on fire, okay? I'm a little nervous. I can't wait to, like, see what happens now. We're like, what? I'm going to write it down, okay? So let's go to the Sexy Time deck. Woo. Knight of Wands wants you to know the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like this is a situation of, like, really having to move yourself to the next level. Like, hold on. Really making that decision. And didn't I say burning like bay leaves and stuff? Really working on your finances as you're moving forward. And I feel like you have somebody who's very into you right now. Temperance with the higher fin. This makes me think of um, May 15th and December 15th. I don't know why, but that makes me think about there's possible like elevation of love. You just have to move slow, Leo. <sighs> And the Emperor says, can I pour your cup, baby? He <laughs> some cups with the Emperor. He's trying to calculate, like, how can I get that? How can I get that? Or, you know, like, energy is like, I want, I want that. I want that Ace of Cups. That one right there. That's all me. What does the sun have for us? Let me shuffle. Let's see. What is this? The Nine of Cups. There is a trip. There's going to be talk of a trip. Um, I always think it's donuts on the table because I'm so fat. Like. <laughs> Okay, I talk about myself like that because I like to eat, okay? I'm a foodie. I like to eat, okay? Even though I haven't eaten anything but some damn peanut butter fluff, but whatever, you know, hey? And Jack Daniels, it's always good, right? Um, now, this Nine of Cups is your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. And I do think by the summertime, 
Okay, there's going to be a lot of happiness coming in for you. The star with the five of wands. I'm going to say you're going to get exactly what you want. Don't be surprised if you go out and this person who broke your heart sees you with the one who treats you right. Okay, and you just sitting there and she has holly on her head. And remember I said dreams were going to be important. Pay attention to your dreams, overall energy, because there's that, there's that sneaky snake trying to come back and offer you something. We all know what that is. I'm going to do a little slow take. Bottom, 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 bottom. Don't take it. Look how she's like, um, a Chanel. I don't want that devil D. I don't want that. I know. Look, I got my king of wands. I don't, I don't even need it. And they've been watching you. They could be watching your social media. They could be watching you from a distance. But guess what? They're watching you. So, with that being said, this is some very interesting energy. Leo, you got an interesting love life. Um, I'm trying to look at the energies here. I thought I had another nine, but I didn't. I thought there was going to be another nine. I have that. I have that. Okay, no. So, just being aware that that energy is there. You also have two fives in your love read, so big changes coming in. This could be, I, I get really strong Taurus and Aquarius energy for you. It does not matter. All I'm saying is there's going to be a trip. You should invite me. I mean, I'm great to travel with. I'm fun to travel with. I'm like a whole lot of fun for everything, you know. Just a great time. Focus on you, okay? We're not focused on him anymore. No more. And that's someone from the past, or those are your old toxic habits that gotta go. Okay, friend? Okay, because we all got them. Anyways, the sun, the star, and the hierophant. That looks like a freaking marriage to me or a very committed relationship. So congratulations, Leo. Have a nice life. I'm just kidding. Now, with that being said, I also want to say if you're interested in a reading, you could always contact me. Contacted me. Contact me on my link tree. Book. You know, just hit the button. Send the money. We're we going to get on the calendar. You're going to get an evite. We're going to be all right, okay? I do not DM you. However, you should follow me on Instagram so we can be friends and we can hang out and we can go live and we can have fun times together. All right? With that being said, I love you so very much. Send you big hugs, lots of love, and stay safe. Don't forget the 17th. Love you. Bye.